Hey everybody, some uh, real tragic news here we wanted to update you on. Uh, unfortunately, we hate to bring this news to you. Little baby Zeke Best was found dead this morning and his father, Jeremy Best, has been taken into custody. Uh, this has been a big story for the past, well, over 24 hours now. It all started, well, back up to Thursday afternoon when Jeremy Best, out of Victor, 48 years old, walks into a store in Swan Valley, the Swan Valley General Store, and he's naked. And he goes behind the counter, he grabs a cigarette, he's escorted out of the store. The police are called, the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office had a deputy nearby they realized that this clearly was a mental issue. Jeremy Best was put in an ambulance and taken to Ermac, where he was evaluated and then released. And later that night, Thursday night around uh, 1140, Teton County Sheriff's Office in Idaho gets a call from a home um, and they heard a disturbance. They heard an argument, some sort of altercation. Deputies responded to the house and when they got there, um, they found a woman who was dead. And we've, we've later learned that um, Callie Randall, her, was pregnant. And Callie was married to Jeremy Best, and they had a child together, Zeke, baby Zeke, who's 10 months old, and baby Zeke was gone. An Amber Alert was issued, and that Amber Alert went out. And all day yesterday, you know, everyone's wondered, where's baby Zeke? Where's Jeremy Best? Well, we now know. Let me read to you from what the sheriff's office sent. And um, this can give you a right from the officials. Um, pulling it up here. This is from the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office in conjunction with the Teton County Sheriff's Office. At approximately 9.17 Saturday morning, Bonneville County Dispatch received a call from individuals who were hunting on the Kepps Crossing Road near the Dan Creek Road, east of Idaho Falls. This is kind of in the foothills. If you're familiar with Idaho Falls, it's near Bone. A uh, man, a person on the phone stated they located a man in a sleeping bag on the side of the road. The caller stated the man was naked and making odd statements. Bonneville County Sheriff deputies uh, contacted the individuals and identities and identified the man as Jeremy Albert Best, who was wanted by the Teton County Sheriff's Office for homicide. Best was secured and placed in a patrol car until Idaho Falls ambulance personnel arrived to treat him for any injuries. If you are not in eastern Idaho, we have had snow and it is frigid. And... Um, I don't know how long he was in that sleeping bag, but it was it was cold. Near the area where Best was located, deputies located his vehicle, a black Chevy SUV, down an embankment off the road. Deputies also located a child, Zeke Best, deceased at the scene. We don't know the cause of death for Zeke at this point. We've asked the coroner. It has not been determined. Um, if someone was in a cold vehicle all night last night that could have led to a death especially a child and who knows when Zeke last ate I, I don't even want to you know think about that it's just so sad at this time Bonneville County deputies Idaho State Police and the Teton County Sheriff's Office are processing the scene and continue to investigate Idaho Falls police detectives and agents from the FBI are also assisting at the scene after a medical clearance best was transported to the Bonneville County Jail and booked for the outstanding Teton County warrant he remain will remain incarcerated until he is arraigned before the court our thoughts are with the families of the victims involved in this case further information will be available at the appropriate time just a heartbreaking update and um, I do want to tell you the statement we got and um, this is from the family of Callie Randall. And uh, let me find what I can tell you that they sent us this yesterday. Um, Callie was 38. And the statement from her cousin, Meg Fisher, says she was a beautiful and free spirit. She was called to the mountains and made her home there. She's originally from Wisconsin. 
She was a lover of animals, especially her dogs. Motherhood was the greatest joy, her greatest joy. And we assume she gave her life protecting her children. As I said, she was expecting and then she had baby Zeke. We love her endlessly. She worked as a silversmith and Fisher, her cousin says she sh was shattered to share that Callie was expecting her second child. In the wake of this devastating loss of our beloved Callie and her unborn baby, our family is un overwhelmed with grief and sorrow. Our hearts ache and our focus is entirely on the safe return of baby Zeke. In the midst of every family's worst nightmare, we humbly request privacy as we focus our energy on the safe return of Callie's beloved son, Zeke. So uh, again, that, that tragically uh, did not end how everybody wanted it to end. As for Jeremy Best, he will likely appear in court on Monday or Tuesday to be arraigned on the charges. He will be given uh, an attorney, if I'm assuming he can't afford one. Uh, I, I shouldn't assume that. I'm just imagine he could have a public defender or he could hire a personal attorney. And then it will go through the court process. I imagine he'll be charged with uh, the death. They, they said he is a homicide suspect, so he'll probably be charged with murder of his wife and probably the death of the child and potentially the death of the unborn child in Idaho and um, along with some other charges. So that is the latest. Uh, you can go to eastidahonews.com and read the, the stories that we've put up about this case, and we will have, um, we'll continue to follow it for as long as he can. You know, an Amber Alert was issued, I believe it was three or four hours after, after the child disappeared. There's certain criteria that must be met before an Amber Alert is issued. A lot of people say, why are they issued for every single situation, but that you have to believe that one, the child is in danger and there's a couple of other qualifications too. And this clearly fit the, um, those qualifications. It's unknown what, where Jeremy Best went from the time he took off from that home around 1140 Thursday night, all day yesterday, Friday. Uh, we don't know. Maybe we'll find that out where he went. If he went straight up to the foothills, you know, in the remote area, if he ate any food, if he was still, you know, using drugs or drinking alcohol, whatever it may be. Um, and maybe he'll, will come out and we'll learn that through the court if, wh how, what he did to take care of his child or if anything during that day. Um, but if you're just tuning in, Zeke, baby Zeke has been found dead. His father, Jeremy Best, has been arrested. He is in the Bonneville County Jail where he will appear in court within the next few days on, I imagine, several charges. Uh, they were found in the remote area um, in the foothills outside of Idaho Falls. Jeremy Best was in a sleeping bag. He'd had no clothes on, he was naked. And um, when officers arrived, they realized that uh, his child was in the black SUV that was off the side of the road down an embankment. All right, I'm Nate Eaton reporting. We'll continue to follow it. Thank you for watching.